Like the video or- Oh god, no, not the sand, please, no! Verdant wind, great tree moon, the sleeping sand legend. Guys, it's sand. It's hard to move. Use your flyers. That's what the enemies are using. They got a lot of flyers and a bunch of archers and mages and monsters that move well in the sand. Honestly, this is one of the most stacked levels in terms of enemy composition. They really went out to pick the best units to take advantage of the terrain. You know, good on them. But I think this actually makes the level worse. In this one specific case, this makes everything worse because this is a sand map and while majority of your units are going nowhere in this shitty terrain they've got waves of well-equipped people heckling you oh so this is what oppression feels like time to play as slow and boring as possible here we go now it's not the worst sand map ever there's no fog like fe6 is chapter fuck i I looked it up! There's no fog of war like FE6's chapter 14. They got these little paths you can walk full movement on. But it's still sand. The movement killer. The options limiter. The turn count taker. There is no good desert map in Fire Emblem. I promise you. And this is no exception. But hey, at least you don't gotta look up a guide to find all the stupid hidden treasure in the sand because it's not hidden at all. It's all on those idiot yellow guys over there. Their stuff's okay, they, they save you some crafting materials and some money, but you gotta hurry your flyers over before they die, and sometimes it can really feel like it's just left up to RNG, which is no good. There are actually better items in the form of stat boosters on the enemies right by you, so pack a thief if you have one. Now obviously, on this slow trudge through the sand, the wyverns are the most obnoxious unit to deal with always have been. But luckily for you, you get the bonus of having an infinite amount of them in the form of ambush reinforcements that start coming when the boss gets aggroed, which includes thieves that wander into the center of the map. So they could totally just start pumping out wyverns with little to no control. Luckily, and I do mean it this time, they don't spawn more until the current reinforcements are eliminated, and they do not move if they are not in range of anyone. I didn't know this though. I didn't know any of this shit. I did a lot of resets, not understanding when the wyverns actually spawned, lost a lot of units, a lot of attempts. Don't be me. Always do your research before doing a sand chapter. Fuck this map. 2 out of 10.